have the tables. So we have dinner and then dinner. Service dinner. And then after when you're done, then you go dance, do whatever you want. But yeah, that, that should be that could be a reason. So if you want to change the setting, change the way it's run. Um, have tables. And you guys sit at tables. Eat first and then dance. Yes. That's a good reason you should, when you write the proposal, tell them that. Oh, you told me before. Okay. Of course, I understand that. Try that bus thing. Yeah, you all meet at school and something about the We didn't think of that. Yeah, we didn't think of that. And also, they just meet at school. What about that one time when it was outside of school? I think what happened was they meet there, everybody just meet there, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's why there's a problem yeah. because yeah. certain kids don't come home at the same time. So. Oh, okay. Tickets. Okay, so that's another thing you should do is you have a list of, like, just a list of all the names of the students who are going to prom, yeah, yeah. and then before you come in, you have to check. So you check ID. So check in and check out. We generally can have more than one event here, but depends on if the school rejects it yes. or accepts it. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. But uh, most of the time the school rejects, that's why we only have so much events. Yeah, so <laughs> Okay. So I think what's really important or what's going to be really good is like that prom. So write the proposal early. Um, so if you, get re if you get rejected, you keep fixing it, you keep refining it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you get rejected? Yes, from month ago, we check, 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 we
we got to talk to the restaurant and call them up and say, um, it's good because re A, restaurants get more customers. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's a good way to fundraise, isn't that? That means like the more people you guys get to buy food than like the restaurants, the more money you get. That's the best, that's one of the best things that we do, uh, just because it's, um, it's easy. Yeah. And there's no way you can get negative money. It's always going to be profit. Even if one person shows up, yeah. that's still yeah. profit. profit. If you come up here and dance with me. 
Anybody have any questions about that? You look really interested about that. You guys interested? You like like nuclear physics? Yep. You? What do you What do you know about nuclear physics? And it was destroyed a city. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could destroy a city, but I don't. I don't make bombs. Oh, that's how I do it. Uh, what What bombs have you heard of? You guys learn about any bombs that destroy cities? Famous ones? C4. C4? That's not, that's not nuclear. That's just a normal, that's a little. Can't, can't even destroy this classroom. You want to ask something? Yeah, ask me something. <laughs>
but it, it's not going to work like that. Um, you're going to have to go, take notes, study on your own. That's why it's going to be harder. So I guess the hardest thing in high school for the United States, uh, it's, it's a really tight schedule. So uh, you wake up uh, at, at about 6 o'clock, same as you guys, and then we, we wake up, get ready, go to class at 7 in the morning, and then each class is an hour long. Uh, we go by period. So first period, second period, so that's two hours. Then we have a small break, and then we go third, fourth, fifth period. And then so that's three more hours and then lunch. So lunch is that noon. And then we have six and seven period. So seven period is that. And then if you, most people in, in uh, high school, they have, we do sports or band or theater, and that would last from three to five. So usually you guys are in school for eight to five too, right? Yeah, so that's how it is in, in high school. Um, it's a lot more strict too. Uh, if you if you um, you miss class, you don't go to school, you get detention. Do you guys get detention? Huh? Sometimes. Yeah, that's how it is in, in the states too. Um, college, you guys are interested. Uh, once you graduate from here, I graduated from high school and then I went to college right after. Um, the other option you have is going to a community college. And what that is, is uh, you could, if you apply to a university and then they don't accept you, you could go to a community college. And from there, uh, you apply, everybody gets into community college, so you don't need to apply. But you go there, you take your classes, and after two years, um, if you uh, meet the requirements, then you can apply to the university again. And then uh, once you get in, then you, the last two years, you can graduate from the university. Um, so I go to Cal Poly Pomona, and I study architecture over there. Um, so what do you guys like to do? How about you? What do you like? Psychology. Psychology? Yes. Yeah, so uh, Cal Poly has psychology. Um, a lot of the colleges in, uh, in the States have psychology, and uh, it's actually a very popular major. Uh, how about you? Um, either international relations or political science. Poli sci. So we have poli sci and international relations is probably in their business, right? So uh, you can do that. Uh, so if you want to go to um, a college in the States or the UK, uh, you, you would apply for a student visa. Uh, last year I got some students from Beijing come um, and they, they were able to study for nine months in the States under the visa. Um, colleges have like a lot of different clubs, like we have psychology. Uh, we also have fun ones, like, uh, I know there's a Harry Potter club. We have, we have like a, a, um, a racing car club. So they build cars and they race them. Um, we have, uh, do you guys like sports too? So um, we have intramurals, which is uh, college students, and everybody makes a team, and then you play sports against each other. So we do soccer, football, volleyball, um, frisbee. You know, ultimate frisbee. Yeah. So we have that too. Um, so do you guys have any questions for me? Like anything about the United States or college or even high school? Which college are you? Oh, I go to Cal Poly Pomona. It's uh, around Los Angeles. You guys should ask questions. What Theo? Theo, like T H E O. Uh, Theo Rossi. Oh, Lin. No, I don't. Chinese. Um, Chinese and Japanese. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you guys have Mandarin class, right? Yes. Right now. Oh, this is it. Is it hard? <laughs>
seventh grade, uh, you don't learn you don't learn any language. So my parents put me in the Chinese school. So uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, I went to a Chinese school. So I learned for five years, but at home I speak. What's your movie and why did you choose architecture? Um, I like to draw, um, play video games, I like to draw. Uh, not yet. <laughs> um, architecture, so I guess I chose architecture because in high school we had classes like you guys have Mandarin and um, you have PE you too, right? So I took like Spanish, I took architecture. Theater, I did uh, sports too, and um, I guess in the end I really liked like drawing and doing architecture and I like buildings too. And I want to build my own home, so that's why I picked architecture. Um, what language? I can speak English, uh, Spanish, and some Chinese. Some Thank <laughs> you.